how to use the Bloom's taxonomy for the construction of objectives. A taxonomy is a classification. The Bloom's taxonomy is a classification of objectives into six groups based on the verbs that have these objectives. This is used to make learning objectives, for example, to build syllabuses or academic curricula, as well as to make research objectives, whether in thesis or any other type of research. Bloom's taxonomy is useful to know which verbs are adequate according to the educational level, whether we are talking about schools or professional programs, masters or doctorates. It is also useful to know which verbs are adequate for general objectives and which are adequate for specific objectives. We know that every objective starts with an infinitive verb, such as coughing, dancing, eating, sleeping, singing, hurting, etc. But none of these verbs are actually suitable for use in an objective. So which verbs are suitable? Well, the Bloom's taxonomy, built in 1955 by Bloom and other collaborators, tells us which verbs can be used in a classification from one to six, ordered from the simplest to the most complex. In the first place, we have those verbs related to remembering, that we will use when our goals are simpler. Then there is understanding, which is a bit more complex. Then we have applying. Here we are talking about goals where we already know something, we have understood it, and we want to take it into practice. Then there is analyzing, which is a much deeper level. Then evaluating, which requires more specialized skills. And finally creating, which refers to the possibility of innovating in the construction of new knowledge or products. So when writing or creating objectives, we can use any of these verbs, depending on the level of depth or complexity that our research or learning proposal is going to have. For the first level, remembering, some of the suggested verbs are to know, identify, define, recognize, affirm, describe, explain and memorize. For the second level, understanding, we have to comprehend, summarize, relate, interpret, cite, infer and generalize. For the third level, applying, we have to apply, solve, articulate, transfer, use, modify, manipulate, sketch and model. For the fourth, analyzing, we have to analyze, correlate, plan, categorize, examine, distinguish, connect, take apart. For the fifth level, evaluating, we have evaluate, criticize, recommend, reframe, justify, defend, estimate, grade, and judge. And finally, for the level number six, creating, some of the suggested verbs are to design, develop, collaborate, invent, adapt, build, compose, formulate, and assemble. Now, the system of objectives is usually divided into two parts, a general objective and three to five specific ones. According to Bloom's taxonomy, the general objective should be proposed as follows. For primary, middle or high school, the goals are level one to four. If it is for professional programs, it needs to be level three onwards. Why? Because level one and level two talks about goals that are too simple. Even level two speaks of goals that are too superficial for a professional. If it is for masters and doctoral programs, it should be level five to level six. Because if it is before level four, then we would be talking about goals that are too basic, that could have been achieved by a professional or even at school. On the other hand, for the specific objectives, Bloom's taxonomy tells us the following. For the first one, we will use a verb of less complexity. For the second one, a little more complexity. Third, still a little more complexity. The fourth one, more complexity, and the fifth is the one with the most complexity or depth. 
And that's it. So if you learn how to use the Bloom's taxonomy to build objectives, please subscribe, share, like, and remember, research is easy.